All right, just a quick note about uh, how we're gonna seal this plywood, I mean, uh, cork underlayment. Uh, this is a product I've enjoyed using on wood floors in the previous home. Osmo Pollux Oil High Solids. Just rub it on with a little piece of white Brillo pad. You don't have to sh just mix it up very much. And uh, you just wipe it on, rub it into the uh, cork, give it a little time to soak in, and then wipe off the excess, and you're done. Super simple. Uh, here's a piece of bare cork, which doesn't have any, any sealant on it. Let's see what water looks like on that. Kind of beads up naturally, but over time you can get it to soak in a little bit. But you know, cork's the bark of a tree, so it's, it's automatically a little bit waterproof. In comparison, this has a, let's see, this one has one coat of the Pollock soil on it. Beads up nicely, and just try rubbing it in the middle a little bit. And then this has two coats on it. This cork underlayment has lots of little pores in it, little voids. So I was hoping that the uh, solids would start to fill it up, but I'm seeing very little change really as the different coats of Pollock soil. Uh, soak in. They, they soak in enough that you can see on the first coat it comes through a little bit on the other side. This is pretty water resistant. You could have time to mop up a spill. Um, and whether it would soak through eventually is a good question. But you may be able to see there's a little bit of solvent that came through. So a little bit of those waxes have made it through. So I, I'm hoping that with a couple coats it becomes pretty darn waterproof and you need any spills in a shower, uh, you could just wipe up or catch with a mat. But we'll give it a shot and see whether over the years it soaks through and rots the plywood underneath. Uh, we'll leave the plywood bare rather than epoxy coating it or something like we do on a boat. Uh, so you might be able to see that that is uh, soaking in a little bit. Uh, maybe there's a tiny bit of water coming through, but it's hard to tell whether that's water or just my fingerprints that are wet. So it's somewhat water resistance, resistant, and then uh, once you get a couple of layers of this Pollock soil on, I think it's going to be waterproof enough for a bathroom floor. All right, we'll do it. Report back in a couple of years. See how the rot's been rotting.